smell too! Which in some ways is okay because she's kind of creeping me out, but still, what's happening? He's taking control of your life. That's what's happening. Dad! You gotta do something about it. Great, right, Dad. Language? What should I do? I'd light some scented candles, maybe breathe through a damn cloth. No, I'm talking about Devlin! You gotta suck his blood! Suck his blood before he sucks yours! Grab his head like this! Turn his neck sideways like this! Uh, uh, and then you bite his neck and drink that blood. That warm, thick, gooey blood! You gotta gulp it down like some red-hot motor oil milkshake! I mean, you gotta drink so much of that blood that it, it smells like a hospital and tastes like a dentist. Fred? Fred? Sorry, I passed out. It's okay. Where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells like a hospital and tastes uh, like a dentist. Uh, Fred, Fred. Wake up. <clears throat> you gotta prepare yourself. First of all, vampires hate baseball players. So we gotta find a bunch of baseball players to help us out. Yeah. Wait, what? Vampires are always yelling at baseball players. I think you're thinking of umpires, Dad. I still think a baseball player may be of some use to us. Okay. All right, listen, you gotta take this guy on in public. That way he's got no place to hide. The recital's tonight, and everyone's gonna be there. That's the field of battle. That's where he's gonna turn everybody into vampires. And that's where I'm gonna take a wooden stake and drive it into his heart! Wait, you're, you're not really gonna stab him, are you? Well, yeah, he's a vampire, Dad. Good! Just try not to get any blood in your shirt, okay? Okay. Now go. Gather your forces! Take this! It'll make you go faster. Okay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>